June 5th, Arlington, Mass. Cut some bees that are moved in up underneath that um, gutter into that little bit of a cheek wall right there where the flashing is for the roofing where that cedar shake comes into it. So I'm gonna go inside the house to look for a heat signature. Um, the customer already kind of has and I believe this is gonna be an inside cutout. Let's go check it out. All right, so we got the heat signature right there. I can see it right in the wall right there. So we'll get into it. I'm gonna put the ladder up on the outside to check it out. Windows right here, which is perfect. So it's gonna be an inside cutout. Arlington Mass. All right, so I got the bed covered, the computer covered, and so forth. It's nice having a window right there because they'll go to the light and this light being right here. So hopefully it keeps them here and they wanna go out towards that light. Piece of tape right there. I'm gonna drill a hole right where the colony is right there just to confirm, see what I'm dealing with. This is an older building, so I can see a hole down there. It looks like horsehair plaster. So I will not be able to seal this back up. Um, but let's get into it, see what's going on. At least I'll be able to seal the outside so they can't get back in anymore. Arlington, Mass. What I do have is comb, trying to see if you can see it. Uh, right there, it's combing up. Here comes the bees. We're on them. Give you a little idea of the process of the removal. I cut the square all, all the way around. It's here plaster. So, super dusty. Just going to work with it slow. going to be old framing, so it could be balloon framing. The bees should come out now. I'm starting to get to the, I see where the uh, bunch of studs in here together. Three studs. I have to put my bale on here pretty, pretty soon. Also, there's a stud here to here, so it should be in this location. Drilled here and found them as you saw. So I'll just keep going through this and now get to the next stage. So I can see comb in there, right back in there. That's where I drilled the hole. There's a stud, stud here for this corner. So I don't see anything down below here. I'll put the light and see. There's a block coming up across here as well. So it might be going up. Like I said, it's probably balloon framing. So I'm hoping I don't have to go into the ceiling to reach into and get them. All right, let's keep going. This should give you a better idea. I'm trying to get you so you can see. See them in there crawling. They're in there. I see capped honey right here. New comb. Looks like there's old comb. So it could have been an old colony here as well. Queensland. Good capped brood right there. Those little uh, cappings you see there is brood. So every one of these combs has capped brood on it. Okay. There they are. So pretty how they can fit that in. That above the white is all cap honey. That is cap brood, means it's babies. I can see eggs in there. I know you probably can't see the eggs, but I will work with them super slow. Start with this comb here and work my way across as they're layered like this. Work to the back. A lot of crevices and cracks in here where that queen can go. So hopefully we can find her ASAP. This is cut out eight. And still no marked queen yet on the swarms and on the cutouts that I have done. So 
We'll see if this is the one. Let's get this first comb out. I do put the gloves on because there's a lot of honey in that. And if the back side of the comb has bees on it. And I'm hoping the queen will be there. Just don't want to get stung. Take a few more bees off. And work from the right to the left. To the side here first, go real slow. New comb is super, super soft, fragile, fragile, some might say. Push the bees out of the way. And you deal with nails, nails coming down from the top. Little connection here on top. Goes back pretty far. Connected to the other one here. Kind of work it the best I can. The bees don't give you much time before they start. A nail there or something. There's the back side, like I told you. So we'll work with those and keep on going. Honey's good. And they are all working. That's the honey up top. Looks like they kind of go to the back side here. Hopefully it just stops right there. Alright, so we removed one and a half comb. And there's a part of that one to the right that goes back. I do see comb goes into the next bay. I don't know how far it goes. You can see it right there. But then they drop down underneath this plate here. So this will be the next big piece right here. All the eggs, larvae, pupa in there and so forth, so it's laying good. All right, we're making some headway here. Finally got the comb, you can see the comb was like this, like this, and like this. Now I'll work this corner to the back. It does show that it goes up, so I don't know how much is up there yet. Might have to drill a hole and find out. And again, it does go to the right here, the other side of the stud. I do see insulation right there, so let's see how far it goes. And it does drop down. Oh man, but that all pulls out, so we'll keep working with it. Arlington Mass with comb bee removal. Got a big piece of comb coming out. Hopefully this queen is on the back side of this comb. Keep working with this. 
Let me shut this thing on. Okay, so we're at a point I got all that removed. The good news is that this goes up on an angle this way. So this is just a couple tips of the comb up there to remove. Just a matter of how far it goes this way. So I'm gonna probably try to sneak something through here and see how many layers of comb. I mean that comb right there is a little cat brood right there, but it's got pollen and honey in it as well, which is usually on the outside. So um, and I'm hoping if I pop this piece off, she's just hiding on the other side of that. So, Arlington, Massachusetts, with comb bee removal. All right, so I took that one comb out, got one more back there. Hangs down a little bit down in there. Let's see if we can get the lights can see. So the queen's probably no doubt climbing down there. And being very cautious because if she drops, she can drop down a big cavity and I'll have to wait her out. So, one more comb behind the stud. So, we'll keep on going.